Hello everyone, our today's outline is reading data from a standard XML file. So what do you mean by XML? So XML is again a format for storing the data and we will explore how we can work with XML data. So let us first explore how we can work with XML. So first thing arises, what is the full form of XML? So XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. Now why we are using XML? So XML allows us to store data of any data type. So if you want to store string, if you want to store integer, if you want to store float, if you want to store complex numbers, all the data of any data type can be stored inside an XML file. Now what are the advantages of XML over HTML? So the first and the foremost advantage of using XML is we can create our own tags and in case of html we have to use their built-in tags so for example if i want to create my own structure that is resembling same as that of html then i have to opt for xml now in case of xml only one syntax is mandatory whenever we want to create an xml file so only one element is used as you can see over here first we have to use angular bracket then we have to write question mark and then we have to write xml now let us understand the basic structure of an xml so first let us assume that we are creating a file which is named as regional cells dot xml so whenever we are creating an xml file the file extension should be dot xml now the first thing we have to do is we have to specify the xml starting tag that is we are writing an xml so for that first we have taken an angular bracket then we have written question mark then xml and inside this we have specified two attributes so the first is you can see is version so we are by default using the version that is 1.0 and we are using encoding that means in which format you want to write this particular xml file by default we are always using utf8 so utf stands for uniform text format now what i want to do i want to create a main tag which is named as cells so you can see over here inside the xml we have created a tag which is named as cells now here this cells tag will act as a root tag for your xml file now if i want to create another tag inside the cells then we can easily create so for example if i want to create a sub tag which is named as region so how can we write so directly opening the angular bracket giving the name so this particular name region will act as a tag in your xml file so we have created a root tag that is cells inside this we have created another sub tag that is region and another sub tag inside the region we have created is territory so this particular xml file is indicating that how much cells have been done in a particular region now what we need to understand how can we read the data from xml file so again for that reading we have to require a library of jquery and jquery provides us a function which is named as ajax so this ajax functions allows us to read the data from any of the xml file and we can parse it easily into our html table so here you can see is the syntax of xml using the function that is ajax so to in order to access this ajax function we have to use dollar so first we have written that is dollar then in order to access the function we have used dot operator then we have written the function that is ajax now we need to specify number of key value pair so inside this function again i am using a curly braces to specify the key value pairs now the first and the foremost is the type you want to specify so there are ample of types available so we will right now 
stick towards get there are number of types that is get post request and so on so by using get your data will be get displayed on your browser's url so the first attribute key value pair we have specified is type and the value for that is get so we have enclosed all the values within double quote the second parameter you can see over here is url so url it indicates which file you want to read so the file is for example we are considering regional cells so we have to specify the file name with extension that is regional cells dot xml the next other attribute is data type so what data type of this particular file is so we can say this is an xml and the last thing we have to specify is success that is on success we want to invoke the xml parser in order to parse our xml file so this is the general structure of parsing an xml document and we need to use this whenever we want to run a particular xml file inside html next we will see what will be the output of this particular file so the file name was regional underscore cells dot xml so there are three different tags as you have seen so the first was your territory employees and cells for example if we consider this and these are the particular records now one of the drawback of the current browsers are they are not allowing us to directly fetch the data from our file and display it to an output as in browser so you can see over here that this will be the output if the code is runnable now we will understand how we can create an xml file and how we can read the data from that xml file and display it inside an html table first let us understand this xml file so i have created an xml file which is named as regional underscore cells dot xml so first we have written is the xml that is question mark xml we have specified the version that is 1.0 and we have given the encoding as utf-8 and we have placed the question mark and completed the angular bracket now first here i want to create is a root tag which is named as cells and inside this cells root tag there may be num n number of regions and this region will contain territories employees and the amount so first i have created is a cells tag now inside this cells first i am creating a tag which is named as region and i am giving the attribute as year as 2013 now this attribute depends on us which attribute we want to specify so for simplicity i have given year equal to 2013 then i have specified the territory so the territory is northeast the total number of employees there are 150 and the amount is 115000 and i have ended the region so this particular tag contains sub tag which is named as territory employees and amount similarly i have created an another region tag of the year 2013 but the territory has changed to southeast the employees are 125 and the amount is 95000 similarly i have created third region and the territory is midwest total number of employees are 225 the total amount is 195000 and the last region is of west total number of employees are 325 and the amount is 265000 so i have ended this sales tag so this is your root tag inside this these are your sub tags so this is your xml file now we will see the code with the help of which we will parse this xml file and we will display the content of this xml file inside the html so for that i have created a file which is named as import underscore xml dot html so the first and the foremost tag will be our doc type html then we have used html tag then we have specified the head then we have specified the encoding using meta tag so meta character set equal to utf-8 i have given the title of my file as xml data importation and inside this head tag i have added my 
javascript library so for that i have taken script tag i have specified the source and here i have specified code.jquery.com jquery latest.js then i want to apply style to my table so for that again i have taken a style tag and here i am using is internal style sheet so style tag and i want to apply it to a table so for the table i am specifying the border collapse is collapse then i am specifying some of the styling for my table data so the width should be 200 pixel border of bottom side should be one pixel solid i am applying padding 5 pixel and i am specifying the margin value as 0 and for the table heading i am specifying the text align as left hand side i have ended my style tag and i have ended my head tag now we need a body so for that i have taken a body tag again i have given a heading over there that is xml data imported and inside this i am creating a table so for that we have used table tag so now we will see what is inside the table so first we have assigned is id to our table that is cells inside this we need to create a row so for that we have taken a row as pr and inside this i want to give the heading so for that i have used th i have specified territories then i have specified employees and i have specified cells then i have ended the table row and i have ended the table now we want to fit the data dynamically depending upon the number of data that are present in xml file so again for that we have seen that we require jquery so to write a code for jquery we require a script tag so i have taken script now once the document has been loaded then only we want to load this particular function so for that we are using document dot ready function so and we are declaring an inline function and just we have seen in order to read the xml file we have to use the function which is named as ajax so here we have written dollar dot ajax the first thing that we have to specify is type so type we have specified as get second thing we have specified the url which contains our file name so our file name is regional cells dot xml third is data type which is xml and whenever this file has been successfully loaded it should invoke a function which is named as xml parser so let us understand this function xml parser so i have created a function using a function keyword which is named as xml parser and it will take data of xml type so the first we are going to find the region so to find a region we are using a find function so find inside this which particular tag you want to search for example i want to search region so i have written here region dot each now we want to retrieve each and every records which are present inside this region so for that we are using each function and now again i am creating a function which will retrieve territories as well as the number of employees and the amount which is stored in that particular region so for that first i have created the variable which is named as the territory which will store the territory value so how can we retrieve the territory value so we want to retrieve the current so to refer to a current object we require this so this dot find and i want to retrieve the territory and by default it is in any of the format for example it is in xml format and i want to convert it into a text so for that we require a function that will convert your data into text that is dot text function next we are going to retrieve is the employee numbers so to retrieve the current employee numbers again we refer this dot you want to find employees so here we have specified the employees which is again your element or we can say tag name and then we have converted to text that is dot text then the third element which was present was amount so to store its value again i have created a variable which is named as amount and to refer to current amount we are using this then we are using find function 
fine and inside this we are using our tag name that is amount and i am converting it into a text using dot txt now what we want to do so we have retrieved a record and now this is a particular record of a region now we want to add it inside the table so again we require a table data that is td so to append it inside a td first we need to access its id so our table id is cells so we need to access it using dollar hash sales and i want to add the data to this table so for that again we are having a function which is named as append now please note over here the html code i have enclosed it within single code so first we need to create a row so for that i have used a tag that is tr and inside this tr tag we require a table data so for that we have used the tag that is td and i want to append the value that is for territories so this is a variable so directly we have specified the name then we have added this particular td because first is your territory so we have added its value now we want to add the values to employee so again we need to start our td tag then we have added number of employees again for the number of employees the data is appended and now we want to add the data for amount so again we have started a td and i want the amount to be displayed in dollars so for that i have specified over here the symbol that is dollar we can specify any of the symbols as per our convenience so it will display the amount i have closed the td and i have closed the tr tag then i am closing this function and we are also closing the main function we are ending the script tag we are ending the body and we are ending the html so how this particular function will work so whenever your code or whenever your file has been successfully readed using ajax function so it will invoke this particular function and we are dynamically adding the table data to our table which is having id which is named as cells depending upon the data that are present in your xml file but due to browser's limitations we are not able to display this particular data on the browser so this is the code for reading a particular data from an xml file so we have seen how we can create an xml file and how we can retrieve the data inside a table using jquery so this is all about your xml thank you